Hi everyone, my name is April and today I'm going to show you how I made these adorable and simple decorations for a tea party I threw for my boyfriend and me. Let's get started. This first one is a chalkboard frame and it's pretty straightforward. Just take out the glass and apply your chalkboard paint onto it. I just used a chalk paint I had at home, but I've seen other people use the spray paint chalk before and that seems to work better than the one I'm using because it won't leave brush strokes. I found this plain white teapot at Ross and the first thing I'm going to do is create my heart stencil. Then I taped the stencil onto the teapot and then realized it wasn't going to be very effective because I can't tape inside of the heart. So that was a fail, but I did it anyways. And now as I'm editing this video, I realized that it would have made my life so much easier if I just used these duct tape sheets to make my stencil. That way the edges won't lift up and paint won't get underneath the paper as you paint. But if you still end up doing what I did, don't worry, you can just go back with some wet q-tips and clean up the edges. Repeat the same process for the teacups. I found these teacups at the thrift store and they just happened to match with a teapot I found at Ross. This last decoration is the tassel garland and you're going to need a few packs of tissue paper. Take one sheet of tissue paper and fold it in half and then fold it in half again. With the fold at the top, measure down 2 inches and draw a line across. Then you're just going to cut half inch strips all the way up to the line. After the first few I did, I started cutting 2-3 to three sheets of tissue paper at a time to speed up the process. Next, open up the paper and loosely roll it up the middle. Then just scrunch up the middle section and twist it to hold everything together. I just fold the tassels in half for now to prepare them for hanging. Now I can start decorating and enjoy a wonderful brunch with my love. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more awesome DIYs, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to share your creations with me by tagging me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I'll see you next time.